Well, hey guys, what is up? My name is, of course, the only one glitcher, bringing you fellow Minus and Crafters another Super Awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, guys, it is, of course, Saturday, so I've got another Q&A Saturday episode for you. So if you don't know what Q&A Saturday is, guys, it's a weekly series I run on my channel where I answer your questions about a particular, particular topic. Um... And in today's episode, guys, um, I'm going to be answering your questions about uh, the next big title update from Minecraft console, which at the moment we are currently calling Title Update 28. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to smash that like button as it does let me know that you enjoyed the video and you liked it in general. And be sure to subscribe if you're new for your chance to see if you like it daily on your homepage it is, as it does let me know that you enjoyed the video and you liked it in general. And be sure to subscribe if you're new for your chance to see if you like it daily on your homepage and in Minecraft. GTA 5 and FIFA 15 content and with that being said guys let's jump right <laughs> so guys let's hop right into the first question this week which is in fact do you think that the Amplified World Type Terrain will be added into Minecraft, Xbox 360 and PS3 as they have much smaller worlds um, and they don't have the small, medium or large world type? Now my answer to this question guys is simply yes. Obviously, this will definitely be implemented because they can't implement one feature on two platforms but not the other uh, two um or in fact free platforms if we include the PS Vita um, but I don't really count that as a next gen version uh, so yeah this will definitely be coming guys obviously the Xbox 360 world is much smaller and this will be more limited and it will be a smaller terrain and biome um, because obviously on the PS4 and Xbox One we have uh, 36 times bigger world sizes um, which makes quite a big difference uh, compared to the Xbox 360 and uh, PS3 because uh, it's a less powerful console. Um, and obviously um, the Xbox 360 and uh, PS3 will have uh, less biomes per world. Uh, they will have, they won't be able to have all the biomes, there's no way uh, they'll be able to have all the biomes in one world. Not even the five main biomes. So if you don't know what the five main biomes are, they are the Mega Tiger, the Roof Forest, the Savannah, the Plains Ice Spikes, and of course the, uh, well, one of the uh, highly favorited ones, um, the Mesa Biome. So they're the five main biomes, and I don't think uh, it'll be a very, very high and rare chance of you finding all of those uh, in one Xbox 360 or Xbox uh, PS3 world, um, because it's quite a rare chance, and I don't think it's going to happen very easily. Uh, but it's a possibility, but um, obviously because it's much smaller, uh, the biomes will have to be smaller, and uh, there will be obviously a limitation to this, uh, unfortunately, because unless they increase the world size, which the uh, platforms don't have the power to do because it's not it doesn't have enough capacity and uh, power as a console because it's a large gen console um, that won't be a possible uh, thing so they'll have about uh, I would say about four biomes per world at the new update um, if you don't know what the biomes are they include the sunflower plains the, the roof forest the Birch Forest, the uh, Mega Tiger, the Coal Tiger, the um, Ice Spikes Plains, the Mesa, the Savannah, the Roof Forest, the Flower Forest, um, and I think they're really the main biomes, um, to be fair. We do also have uh, the uh, Mega Tiger Hills. Um, so that's 11 new biomes, which is a great addition to the game. Um, and if you count the ocean monuments uh, as a biome, then I guess, yeah, you could include that. But it's not really a biome. Uh, but we do get the deep ocean, which is actually, in fact, a biome and extreme hills plus. And you can also count the amplified world type as a biome. Sorry, I spent uh, so long on that question, guys. Um, 
But anyway, guys, moving on to the next question. Do you think we'll get sea lanterns in the next update? Now, I you can currently see the sea lantern uh, in the gameplay, uh, which is in the background. As you can see, there's the sea lantern. It's another light source block. And I do think we will be seeing this, guys, because it was a 1.8 feature. And the, there is a very high chance of the update being based on 1.7.2 and the rest of the 1.8 features. Um, so I think this is a very high chance and it is a possibility. But anyway guys, moving on to the next question. Do you think we'll be getting the two tall flowers or two block tall flowers in the next update? Now my answer is, is simply yes. There was, um, I think, 11 flowers added. So I'm going to go over them like I always do. Uh, um, sorry, but I, I just need to go over them quickly. So guys, we have the blue orchid, we have the peony, we have the oxide daisy, we have the azure bluette, we have the rose bush we have the lilacs we have the red tulip orange tulip white tulip pink tulip uh so that's 10 um then we have the sunflower uh and the poppy um which is already implemented but it's still called the rose on console um and the dandelion which is already in the default uh game and it's kind of like one of the main flowers um, but anyway guys, moving swiftly on to the next question. Do you think we'll be seeing command blocks um, or uh, any sort of new commands in the next update? Now my answer to this question guys is no. Um, command blocks in my opinion will never be added to Minecraft console. They will be implemented through um, the host options um, commands, uh, they're similar to the usual commands which you could use in a command block and obviously because we don't have a keyboard uh, to type in the commands, how else are we going to do it? Obviously we have, you know, the PlayStation keypad type thing, uh, you can get the plug-in for the controller also um, on the Xbox keypad, um, but that, like, I don't really see the point in them implementing a command block when they could just implement all these commands in the host options uh, kind of category on the interface menu um, so my answer to this question guys is most likely no unfortunately um, it is a possibility but it's quite a rare one and I don't think we'll be seeing commands um, in the next update or anytime soon for that matter and if we do there'll be host options um, but anyway guys moving on to the next question do you think we'll be seeing new skins servers or realms in the next update and the answer to this question guys is yes uh, servers possibly skins possibly realms also possibly um, and it does actually go on to say a bit more. He does say, do you think we'll be seeing mods? Um, mods, I think, are, that's that's pretty uh, simple answer and question to me, guys. I think we won't be seeing mods um, because the console doesn't have the power to uh, run mods. And um, it will cause a lot of lag. And it will be quite a difficult feature to play the game with. Um, and... I think 4 js users will have trouble implementing that. Um, and, like, if you think about it, they have to go for a lot of steps and stages to implement mods, and it could cause copyright issues and things like that, guys. Um, and they do have to have, like, the creator of the mods permission and things like that. Um, they go for a lot of documents and data and things like that. And it's just quite a tricky feature to add, so I don't think we will be seeing that servers possibly um obviously these will be run by um, mojang or 4j studios um and obviously it will cost a bit of money uh for uh, you to make your own server i'm not sure how much i'm thinking about five to ten pounds roughly um and new skins possibly but uh you would have it, i think it would require you to have a memory stick um to do this guys because there's not really any other way to implement it um because like obviously on the pocket edition you can get an app because it's on the same device like uh and on pc because it's on the same device you can do it on you can um you know you can create a uh a skin and save it to the Minecraft game files but obviously on PlayStation because you don't have anywhere to store your documents or save data you won't be able to save the skin and therefore it won't be um, able to transfer onto the game of the console so you have to have some form of a USB or SD card and 
in order and uh, enable for you to um, actually receive the uh, skin and wear it. Um, I, I find it quite likely though guys that they will uh, add some new uh, skins for Steve and Alex. Um, I'm not quite sure why, I just have a feeling that that's what they're going to do. Um, because, you know, they're very limited at the moment. We only have eight for each player and they're not that great. Like, uh, they could be improved. Um, anyway guys, moving on to the next feature. Do you think we'll ever be seeing the shaders mod implemented into Minecraft? No, guys, this is simply uh, an easy question for me because, as I said earlier, I don't think we'll be receiving um, mods. Um, the shaders mod is too powerful and it will cause so much lag. Like, if you think the lag on PC is a lot on console, imagine that. I don't think it'd be able to uh, handle or control that much uh, or amount of lag for that matter because it's too hard and, like, it's not doesn't have the ability or strength to uh, run such a powerful mod like that and um, obviously the storage on a console is only so limited and eventually it's going to run out um, but anyway guys jumping in to the last and final question of today's video I'm sorry guys the questions are limited um, but anyway guys jumping into the next question do you think we'll ever be able to switch updates like uh, what the PC has so my answer to this question guys is simply and easily no now my answer is now my reasoning behind this guys is pretty much because uh, if you think about it uh, there's there's a different there's a massive difference between a computer and a uh console mainly because uh at the moment in order to um like download an update it automatically gets saved and stored on your console there's no way to delete the update on ps4 or xbox one but of course that is a possible thing you can delete the update on um xbox 360 and the ps3 um so you can go back to title update one, you know, five, uh, title update fourteen, eleven, etc. Um, but uh, I don't think it'd be uh, a possible feature because um, in order to go back to updates, you have to delete the update, which is automatically already saved. Um, so once the update's saved, unless you delete it, you're not going to be able to switch between updates, which is kind of um, a sad uh, kind of thing. But obviously, guys. Um, There'll be more exciting features than that, of course. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Let's push for 20 likes on this video. That'd be much appreciated. And I do also appreciate your support. And I hope it continues throughout the rest of the year, guys. I'm, I'm very, very appreciative and happy with your support. And, and I'm very, very glad that I have you guys. Um, But anyway, guys, also, if you subscribe, you'll see the like daily on your homepage. And in Minecraft, GTA 5, FIFA 15, and returning in November, we'll be seeing Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Um, be sure to check out my Twitter account. Remember, it's at only one glitcher. The E's are free. Also, you can just see my Twitch page. Um, I do live streams weekly, so it's only one glitcher with a capital O and this underscore in between only one and glitcher. And with that being said, guys, have a lovely day. I've been only one glitcher, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.